Hey everybody, here we go. It's turn one, British. All right, so sequence of play. Just throw this out here real quick. Here's our sequence of play chart. All right, so we have the initiative step. So the British have automatic uh, initiative. And then we have movement phase. So we place reinforcements. There is no reinforcements. Disruptions. Uh, okay, so basically we conduct our basic movement. All right, let's just go. We have Von Bros, his guys. One, two, three, four. Go there. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, hmm. One, two, three. Go there. I'm going to send Webster and these guys. So we have one, two, three, four, and we'll send Webster here to there. Let me have, let's see, O'Hare here. One, two, three, four. Put him there. Move the artillery to here. Get them off the road so they got a direct line of fire. Let's so say they have a three movement, so one, two, let's go to there. They need some cover on them, so send these light infantry to go one, two, one, two, three, four. Put them there. All right, so we have some riflemen here. One, two. So one, two, three, four. Go there. Hmm. Go Wesley. One, two, three. Three, four to there. We got one, two. Three, four to there. Send Cornwallis. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, I think everybody's moved. We have all the movement going on. Okay, so we have rally phase. Nobody has to rally. Defensive artillery phase. All right. I know the Continentals have some artillery. I think it's right here. Yes, they have artillery there. And I think that is the only artillery they have. All right, so how much strength one I think it was? Yeah, strength one plus one. All right, let's see. Defensive artillery. Look at the chart. All right, so we have adjacent one strength point. You need to hit a roll of seven or better to hit what they're going to shoot at. And they have to shoot somebody that's adjacent. So let's see here. We could hit these guard grenadiers, which would probably be a smart thing, or these fusiliers. And I'm going after the guard since they are better quality troops. All right, need to roll a 
Uh, seven or better. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. Roll to seven. And that's starting this suspicious. Okay. Um, now we got to look at the art artillery phase. Okay. Since they did hit, we have to roll a d10. One, two, a zero through three versus artillery versus nine. An R. And then we have a disruption or one point strength hit, step loss, or a nine. What is, I think nine is a casualty. So, of the. There's a leader in there in that hex. All right. Well, that's just where there is. Ooh, yikes. Rolled a nine. All right. So I rolled a, which a nine is a one. And there is a leader type in there. So I think I just killed somebody. That might be the case. Wish these things were a little bit more. Yeah, it's been a while since I looked at these rules. But that is a step loss, so these guys take a hit. And they become this here and I think that leader type there that O'Hare might have just got himself canistered by artillery so let me just look real quick here in the rule book defensive fire procedure yep okay Right. If the die right roll, if the second die roll is made, the artillery defensive fire table to determine the results. Only the target combat unit will be affected by the result. Ignore any reference to other units in the hex. Exception: leader casualty. Applying the result, make an army morale adjustment that are required. I think I just blasted a leader off the face of the earth with the canister. I got too close. They were crossing the thing and got blasted. And I think that's just what happened. So the end result will be we're going to have to wipe out a leader. So I think he's dead. Casualty. Right there. Ouch. That's not going to help the, the British very well. They just lost their leader right off the bat. Okay. Uh, that is the end of the defensive fire. And let me move on to uh Non-phasing player, then determined to hit. Then we got to roll to see if the... All right, we have artillery right here. We have our artillery. There, and they're going to run shot into these guys right here. The Warren County Militia with their leader. All right. Uh, where's the guy at? I need, let's bring this up, uh, range is 2, SP firing, need a 7, alright, no that's not good, roll to 2, alright, so the artillery did not do anything, alright, oh yeah, there was, 
well they're the plus one i forgot about that too so they would have needed a six but two does not make a six all right rifle fire phase we do have some riflemen around here okay um all right rifles uh, okay they do have a line of shot we got some rifle here we can cross this field there and let's see who fires both players conduct rifle fire phase simultaneous okay so these guys go and happen at both at the same time uh there's woods blocking his line of sight this unit blocks line of sight so these rifles cannot do anything these rifles are adjacent to these guys so they will shoot uh the royal F welsh fusiliers right there they're going to shoot those guys so they have a strength one okay strength one range adjacent need a seven they have plus one so that's a six and the first time they're firing first fire is a plus one to the dice roll modifier okay so they're going to use their first shot. Let's remove that. That's gone now. That's been used. All right. Well, dice seem to be loaded. All right. So that's a nine. They hit. All right. Put that over there. All right. So let's look at the chart. We have rifle fire versus non artillery. So. Uh, we roll on here with a plus one. Seven plus one is an eight. We got a D result. The D result suffered a D. Demoralized. So that's a one minus one on the army chart morale too. So, oh. We just had a leader casualty. Um, forgot. Well, here I got wiped out. Plus one, minus one. So army morale for the 15 versus 13. And then we just had a step loss there. So British are sitting at 12. But that's a D result on that unit. They just got hit with a D. Demoralized. All right. So we got that. All right, uh, where else? Oh, yeah, we had this rifle fire here. I don't think the, this was just, yeah, this is regulars, regulars. Rifle fire, they're going to fire on Von Boys. There. Seven. Seven, sh well, okay. No modifier, but first fire plus one, so that becomes an eight. Uh, eight at range two with no, that's a miss. They needed a nine. All right, so there's a miss. All right, that removes that gone. All right, so they used it, took some fire, but keep on taking. Oh, yeah, that was in the woods too, so that would have been some modifiers probably. Occupies flight woods minus one, so they needed a ten to even hit plus plus one, so a nine. They would need a nine to hit him. Well, it's nature of the beast. All right, so no more. I don't think there's any more rifle troops around. All right, so the rifles have gone. All right. 
So we move on to rifle fire phase is over. Close combat phase. All right, here we go. Close combat. Well, we have to look at this right here. Looks like Cornwallis and this light infantry are going after the what was that Orange County? Orange County there. And then these guys, the light fusiliers, will go over here at the Guilford County. Alright. Let's just see what we got here. Um, no leader. All right, defender. Engaging without a leader. All right, so that is his result. Will be that. And we have a leader, which is Cornwallis. Engaging with a leader. Uh, retreat is possible. No. Yes, they do have a chance of retreating here. So they can retreat. All right, so gauge with a leader. Enemy has no leader. Flank possible, yes. Withdraw plausible. Because I'm, I'm looking at this thing right here, this chart. Engage with a leader. Enemy has no leader. All right, so flank possible, withdrawal possible. All right, so we're going to roll this one. All right, let's just see what happens here. All right, a zero and an eight. All right, so, well, I got to re-roll this one. A one. All right. Withdraw. So the Americans are going to with, use the withdrawal. And the British are going to do a frontal assault. So they fix bayonet and going forward. All right, let's look at the matrix. We got a withdrawal from the defender and frontal assault plus two. So there's a plus two modifier. All right. Okay, so the odds are three. So one to so three to two. Uh, what do you do with that chart? So we got three versus two. So it's a three to two odds. Um, let's look at our odds here. So three to two. British have a plus two, plus three for that, and uh, plus five. Minus one, so that's a plus six. Yikes. All right. So the British have a plus six to their die roll. At three to two odds. Right, let's just see what happens. Ooh. Well, a one plus six is seven. All right. So they are a D result demoralized. Dis or disruption, I mean. That's not demoralized. Disrupted. But. Hmm. Okay. We need a D. Pull that artillery out of there. We have that result. But they have to do an attack here with the other unit, which is three, basically three to two odds again. A plus one and a minus one. So that's a plus two net right there. No leader. Engage without a leader. Both are engaging without a leader. Withdrawal is plausible by the defender. All right, so an eight and two, or five and a ten. That's not an eight. Okay, so the Americans are going to use a attack and echelon. 
versus uh, skirmish. Hmm, interesting. Let's see what happens. Defender is attacking echelon versus skirmish. Ooh, plus one. Plus three. Three, two, plus three. Two plus three is five. Three to two is. Oh. We have an R result, which is retreat. So they have to retreat out of there. So. One, two, three. fall back all right is there okay we got this attack up here oh boy this is not good well a disrupted unit cannot attack So I guess it's only going to be Webster and crew. Uh, strength four versus the guys right here. All right. So two to one odds. Retreat is plausible. Flank is possible. We have a leader versus no leader. So without a leader, they're going to use that chart. And they're engaging with a leader withdrawal clause. So they're on that one. So these two right on that chart. One versus two. Withdraw versus withdraw. So they're both going to withdraw. They didn't like that. So I don't think anything's going to happen. Withdraw versus withdraw. No combat. So no combat. And it becomes a no effect right there because that rifle fire hit them so hard they decided to withdraw out of the combat and that is the end of the british turn it looks like i do believe all right we'll be back with the americans okay here we are at the americans turn one all right, one thing I had to do is that when this unit that was right there, that disrupted unit, was sitting right here, they had to retreat three, just like these guys had to retreat three. That's one thing I forgot to do. Is if you get disrupted, you got to retreat. Okay, those units that were under the hex that when they got disrupted must take a morale test. So we have a unit that's there, must make a morale test. Roll a seven, they're good, and so they stay. They don't get to use that. All right, there's a this artillery must roll a five or better. They roll a five, so they stayed where they're at. Okay, I think that took care of everybody that was disrupted at that time. All right, so now we're up to speed. Okay. Um, Americans. All right, so we start with our movement phase. Okay. Uh, reinforcements, disrupt units may only move one hex. I'm going to keep those guys where they're at. Uh, shattered units may not move. Pinned units may only move if not in their adjacent. All right, so... Movement phase. All right. Okay. Uh, these guys up here, the Washington, and I forgot to mention, uh, I didn't realize that way over here, these guys that are here, I guess you can't, still can't see them. They're not even there. Way over there. Way down here. There they are. These units, Lee's uh, Legion, can move on the first turn. They're not hampered, so they are on the march. 
So they're following these guys. They know these guys are on the move, so they're following behind me. So we'll just get these guys in movement. They're on the road, so they got a movement of six, so they can go 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright. Yeah, just keep them together there. Okay. That takes care of those guys. Let's go back to the other side. These guys over here can't do anything yet because they haven't been released. These guys do not have any line of sight yet, so they can't get released. So it's these guys. Uh, okay, that's Washington's Dragoons. They get to do something too. Mm. Well... The riflemen are going to go one, two, three, four. We'll put them there. Artillery. Yeah, let's go there. Give them a four strength. They have a strength. Let's put them here. Actually, I'm going to move everybody to here. Move them on top of the artillery. All right. Dragoons, they have a strength of four, so they can go to one, two, three, four, six. Right there. Okay. Okay. Rally phase, morale phase. Disrupt units, shattered units, or units not adjacent to the enemy may attempt to rally. So these guys are going to attempt to rally that unit right there. And they need a five or better. An eight. That'll work. Eight. So they are rallied. Okay. So they are back in action. And they're telling everybody, hey, the enemy's out there. So, All right, so rally phase shattered. Okay, defensive artillery phase. We do have some enemy artillery out there. Uh, hmm. I say, I would say this. They do, can see these guys through here. They can't see them, but they can see these guys. Through that hex. Line of sight one way or the other. Alright, so we got a strength three. And they're shooting two hexes away. Strength three, two hexes. They need a six. And they, are these guys in woods? Yes, need a seven. Um, hmm. Uh, we'll do. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot the artillery. Go after the artillery. Because if we can knock those guys out at the same time, that'd be good. All right. Oh, I need the red die. Well, one does not do it. Okay, so they failed. Okay, so then we have, go to the other side's artillery. So these guys have artillery right there. Strength one adjacent. They need a seven or better. Well, a nine again. Wow. Okay, so they did hit. And they're going to shoot these guys uh, right in front of them. These guys. Again. Is that the guys I hit before? Yeah. Canister, direct front. All right. Six. 
Okay, so artillery fire versus non artillery is a D. They're disrupted. We're going to take a D shot. Bam. Disrupted. So they got to fall back three. And it disrupts it. Uh, it's a minus one on their morale chart. Holy buckets, Batman. Still high morale, but. Okay, now these guys got to fall back three. One, two, three. Let's go back to here. There. Um, I don't think there's any more artillery. Nope. We do have rifle fire next, I do believe. Rifle fire... Both players can detect simultaneous rifle fire. All right, so who has rifles? I know we got a rifle here. These guys are rifles, but they're out of line of sight. These woods right here block it, but they are adjacent to Mr. Webster and crew of the 33rd foot. All right. So we'll put the 33rd foot into place. One, I do believe they're just a one. Strength one, yes, light infantry, all right, strength one, ooh, another nine, okay, so that's a hit, okay, we have rifle fire versus non-artillery, so we roll this again, oop, off the table, come back to you. I think this die is loaded. Uh, nine. Okay, they suffered. There's no loot. Ooh, there is a leader there. This is not good. A roll of one or nine, which comes a one step loss and a leader casualty. 33rd foot just got shot to pieces. It's not working out so good. I don't understand it. And Webster. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the chart here. Webster. Um, minus one step loss. Ooh, morale is now 10. They're fatigued. Minus one to the morale. Not good. All right. The rifle fire is complete. Looks like the North Carolinian uh, militia is doing a good job here. Okay, so rifle fire is done. Close combat phase. All right, so we do have some close combat right here. We have the dragoons. And we got strength four, six. So three to one odds right there against the 33rd foot. Okay. No leader on both sides. Retreat is possible. Um, all right. So engaging without a leader, retreat, or withdrawal is plausible. So we're both rolling on the same chart. We have a six and a four. Stand fast versus attack in echelon. All right, the matrix. Stand fast, attack in echelon. Plus one. So the Americans have a plus one to their attack at three to one odds. All right, so these guys have a plus one. So that negates each other. So that's, that's gone. Dragoons are a plus one. Minus one for those. So, yeah, it's just a plus one. So we have a plus one to the die. All right. Six. Plus one is seven. Three to one odds that seven is disrupted. Oh, boy. Disrupted. Oh, uh, yeah, minor. Okay. 
Morale doesn't take effect until the next turn. All right, so these guys have to retreat three. One, two, one, two, three, right there. Hmm. Wow. Our Sir Cornwallis and the Fraser's Highlanders. Okay. So, both sides, I think, have a leader, yes. Strength three versus strength... Ooh, not so good. So, we're going to have... Let's check the chart. Attackers three versus four. Number two. Not a very smart attack going on here. All right, so their best troops are a minus one. They're plus one, plus three. Hmm, not good. All right, so we look at the chart. To engage with a leader, withdrawal is plausible for both. Flank is possible. All right, so they're both here on nine, seven, and two. All right, stand fast for the British. Seven is turn flank. Defender is stand fast. Stand fast, turn flank. Ooh, plus two. So the Americans gain something. They got a plus two. And the British have a plus three. So that's a plus minus one to the die. And eight minus one is seven. Seven is retreat. So they have to fall back. Retreat a hex. Hmm. To here, I guess. And George Cornwallis is going to go with him. Retreat results. Does that affect army morale any? No. Okay. That's all we have, I do believe. All right, so at the end of turn one for the Americans, it's not looking good for the British. So the British are trying to get up to here, way up going down the road and getting up to here. That's not looking good. good. So they got a whole bunch of units. They must be marched all night. They're really tired. So right now the North Carolina militia held fast other than the one unit that fell back back to here they did rally once they got amongst the virginia militia and said hey i guess it's not so bad but the british fell back even cornwallis had to retreat back to here so we're looking at morale or initiative so let's go just figure out for turn two what happens uh There's a minus one and a plus one. So the plus one in to the blue die and minus one to the red die. And it's obviously going to be an American uh, first, second turn. They're going to have the initiative. So when we come back for turn two, the Americans are going to be piling it on. And see what happens. All right. We'll be back.